Asteroid City. This is Wes Anderson's new movie, which, um, here's the reality. You say Wes Anderson has a new movie, and I'm there. If you say nothing else about the movie except but Wes Anderson directed it, I'm there. I just want to see it. My favorite movie of all time is Fantastic Mr. Fox. I'm not really sure why that movie specifically is my favorite, but it's just kind of always been my favorite. Do you guys ever have a movie like that where you just really love it, but you're not really sure why? Maybe it's not your favorite, but you really do love it. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, there's things I can point to of why that movie's great, but I'm not really sure why it speaks to me specifically. But this film, Asteroid City, I really enjoyed it. And this is a very unique Wes Anderson movie because guys he finally changed it up he finally stopped doing quirky characters he stopped uh, the framing of the cameras the way he does things all of his normal filmmaking tendencies are gone he stopped no, I'm kidding I'm lying to you um, it, this is all the same shit that you expect in Wes Anderson movies it's the same way every character delivers the dialogue is the same in the cinematography and the framing of things everything's the same that you expect on Wes Anderson fan film. And of course we all love that about him. But where I found this movie very different and unique from other Wes Anderson movies. Is this felt like a specific homage to types of movies. And types of genres. This movie felt like an homage to the Twilight Zone. This movie had a very Twilight Zone feel to it. This almost felt like um, Wes Anderson's Nope. You know, where this movie is about aliens and it's got all these themes and these ideas about it. And it's about people looking to the stars and ideas and things like that that's within the movie. And it all has multiple meanings like Nope and other things like that. It's not as, I don't know, well actually this film, I don't know, it's hard to say if it's better or worse than Nope. But I do think this is a very solid movie that seems like very much an homage to 50s sci-fi movies to the Twilight Zone um, the way the movies told as a um, and framed as a uh, as a play and it feels like an homage to the Twilight Zone in some ways the way the narrator comes out almost like he's in an introduction at, like he's from out of an introduction from the Alfred Hitchcock show or something like the Twilight Zone um, it's got a real 50s B-movie sci-fi feel to it with that kind of stuff. The cast is really good. The performances are really strong. The score is really great to this movie. Of course, the cinematography is gorgeous. And Wes Anderson's writing it continues to be really strong. And not for everyone, of course. If you don't like Wes Anderson movies, you really should never just watch them. Just because Wes Anderson is brilliant. And, and if you just... Like, if you're not into them, you're just never really going to be into them. There's nothing that's really going to change it for you, to be honest. But this is an incredible film in its own right. And it's definitely one I might actually try to see again in theaters. I'm not really sure if I'll have the time to. But I, I got a lot out of this movie. Probably won't have the time to. I'm going on vacation in a couple weeks. And I got to watch a lot of movies before that vacation to get videos up to pre-recorded for you guys. But yeah, I did really enjoy this film. And I think it's worth watching a hundred percent.